I'm at a gypsy. We can't leave without talking about why you love revving your motorcycle so much. So, it's funny you say that because I, was I, I was talking to someone about that um, this past weekend. Um, I don't know who, but uh, they're like, yeah, you, like, you, just, you rev it, but you don't rev it as much as you used to. And I'm like, and I don't know why, but like, I just... I just want to get on the ground faster, I think, and just like get that power to the ground. Because like, if you look at, like, if you see my data, like my data and stuff, like my, tor- my RPM and torque and all that, like while I'm on the ground, is pretty good. Like I'm not really revved out too crazy. Like, yeah, sometimes whatever I get loose cannon and like hold second gear too long or whatever. But for the most part, it's pretty good. It's, but it's mostly it's just all air. So like, I'm just treading water, like just trying to get that <laughs> yeah. thing to the ground quicker. So that's really all I can say is I'm just trying to get that thing to the ground quick. And luckily, uh, you know, I'm on a factory team and these engines are strong and you know, it's holding up good. <laughs> Dude, there was a video that I watched of you recently just by accident. Actually, it was on AJ Catanzaro's YouTube channel. And there was a video of you at like, some amateur race as a kid maybe you just got your glyco ride like you might have even had 151 on your bike and uh oh, it was know, like know. you know what i'm talking about i know exactly what you're talking about yeah i was i just got my <laughs> on my glyco bikes and i was at a place was called blue diamond it's shut now yes, um, unfortunately great track but um the it was car the bikes were carbureted and they didn't run so good and i remember that day like i was just like just pissed off all day about how it was like kind of bogging and i just kept it cracked the whole t- day dude those bikes would not blow up i just blah, 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 blah. like <laughs> yeah that video i, I saw it too well n- not long ago it was maybe same thing i was just like that was just so stupid <laughs> <laughs> it was literally just, <laughs> just yeah. like holy fuck yeah. like how many bikes did you go through in your 250 days on glyco or they were pretty good at making sure a, that they didn't grenade. Yeah, they were good at making sure they didn't grenade, just swapping the engines out quick. Um, yeah, like, it sounds crazy. I rev it so much, but these bikes can just handle it. It's just it's just impressive, <laughs> honestly, because I, I really push them, to, <laughs> push them to the limit. Oh, dude. I think you probably don't realize how much you've fucked up an entire generation of amateur kids, though. Like, I look at Deegan, and I look at, like, all of the, the AM kids, and they're just like baby bashes, man. Just put that thing on the valves and just let it sing. That's so cool. I'm so proud of them. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, yeah, boy. Everyone's telling them, like, everyone's like, man, you got to shift gears, you got to shift gears, and you're over there just like, boys, don't listen to any of these fools. <laughs> it's awesome yeah no I, deegan's ripping too i'm stoked to see when he he goes racing those guys are those are on it his, his dad does a good job with him I'm stoked to see him go racing yeah man i, th- I feel like he'll probably like, i think he'll probably do east coast some east coast races for sure like i just don't i, don't know, I, I just don't I, see him yeah. not showing up yeah i see the same thing it looks the videos and stuff see it i mean he looks really good and yeah i don't know i i feel like he should he should just go for it. Just do do East Coast. He's ready. I I don't think there's a I, for for him that it's he can go now or he could wait whatever. But there's no reason. He's just good enough to go. I mean, I don't even really see him right in person, just videos. But I can tell that he's looks looks ready. So hopefully he yeah. Goes so you can like actually exciting. So you, like you can actually look at a guy and go like oh he's ready because we all I mean if you just look at. I mean, you could you could watch like a Cade Clayson go ride at a local track, and you'd be like, "Holy fuck! Like, who would beat that dude?" You know, but that doesn't mean yeah. that he can go out. You know, so it's like, but you can see when you see Hayden, you can see like he's ready, he's got the speed. I mean, for me, I can see it. I just I watched watched his last YouTube video because, and I've been interested too because they moved to Tallahassee, which is cool. Like, I hope to get them out, come out to the track and hang out. They just seem like a good time, a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, but I just the videos like I haven't seen Ryan person, but I can just you can see his his tech like his style and his comfort. He really you can see he like believes in in his riding and what he does. And so yeah, for me, I've I, I see it like 
I'm sure his, his dad definitely sees it as well, but he's, you know, his dad's smart, so he's going to make the right decision and they're going to do it together. But yeah, I'd, I'd like to see the, see him go racing sooner than later. What do, what do you think the fan like reaction will be or the people that he'll actually bring to the racing? Cause there's just not many people. There's probably literally no one that can bring the kind of people that he can to a stadium is it and it's just crazy to even think that a 16 year old kid is in that crazy of a position it's cool it's really cool i i'm like their channel's fun fun to watch like it's just a good what they do is cool and they just the, it's a it's the family you know it's all they're all you know brian's you know a legend of you know when he's doing the yeah. backflips and him and pastrano always going at it and stuff like so gnarly so uh it'd be great. You know, if anyone who could bring, like, that's the thing we need people to bring in new sponsors and new fans and all this stuff. So maybe he could be the one who changes that. I, that would be sick. That would be awesome if they could do that. And like, you know, they do have those, like they do have connections already, like they yeah. with Ford and, and things like that. So they're already, yeah, they're already doing stuff. So I think it'll, it'll be great. It, it's only going to make the sport better yeah yeah no i'm with you dude i just had a random idea deegan platinum at Bamland. oh that'd be so epic get wes yeah. out there with some cherry pickers swanberg on the camera oh, may it be so sick yeah i just i just mellowed the track out like it's still obviously it's still pretty intense but maybe when i retire and i'll just get like a good sponsor to, to kick in some money and i'll get an excavator and just make like insane again <laughs> Yeah, that would be epic. We'll we'll get you out there as well, so it'll be it'll be legit. Dude, that Verb Platinum video, I watched it this morning, and I was just like, "What the fuck was he up to, man?" <laughs> like that was a kid. Oh, well, that's that the, was dude, so that literally free. that was like, yeah, I was literally like my first or second year out at the the farm by myself, just just sending it just just all i did was ride and have fun and yeah it was and then those guys were like yeah we want to come and film this and like the track just got built and there and i was just at the cherry picker like sending it it was oh, i was just like f feeding off of it like it was so funny <laughs> dude the the one shot where you go long I think it was just a t one of the tabletops. Oh, off the table a, a <laughs> one bro same shit just <laughs> upside down with yeah. the flat same but different that one was that one was way sketchier because the tabletop went like super deep into a hole kind of and i literally like it was it was gnarly but luckily i just like bashed it out and kept her on but yeah it was so intense we're excited to announce the launch of our new membership site gypsytales.com packed with exclusive content and perks that you won't find anywhere else this is your chance to become a part of the Gypsy Gang. And as a special bonus, if you sign up to an annual membership, you'll be entered into the draw to win our custom-built TC125. Gypsy Gang.